Psychology's earliest schools of thinking include structuralism and functionalism. In this video, you'll learn about each of these schools of thought and their relevance to today's thinking about behavior. There are two individuals who are really credited with being the founders of psychology, and the first individual created the school of psychology that's called structuralism, and that was Wilhelm Wundt. He was a German psychologist who founded the first psychology laboratory and the first journal in psychology. Wilhelm Wundt measured psychological phenomenon, and he did so through a process called introspection. Basically, he asked people to examine their own experiences and to try to be as objective as possible when describing them. And he called this process introspection. And the goal was to really come up with what is the structure of the mind based on these reports of introspection. So what I would like for you to do is try this form of introspection for yourself. The next time your cell phone vibrates, I want you to hold it in your hand and I want you to take time to engage in some introspection. I want you to grab the phone and resist answering the call or swiping it to see what the message is. And pay attention to what your experiences are as you wait for those vibrations to just stop or you wait to open your phone or to answer it. Then put down the phone and consider your experience. So don't answer it and try to be as objective as possible on those sensations that you were feeling, as well as those actual feelings that you're experiencing. Make those observations objective. And in doing this, you're going to have a sense of what it was like to be part of Wundt's introspection types of trials. In this video, you've learned about structuralism and functionalism. In the next video, you'll be given an overview of psychoanalysis, gestalt psychology, and behaviorism. If you like this video, please select the like button and subscribe for more psychology videos like this one.